Hotep family. This is your RBG brother, God Nollywood Jr. Coming to you with the real once again. And um, as you can see, the day's topic is uh, day's topic is the reality's temple on earth. Internet ministry is a complete garbage. And as you can see, if you look on here, you see this guy named Talik Amarad. And just and I'm gonna basically going to answer or to address his video that he did on me, I believe last year in September 8th. Uh so I, I never got a chance to address this clown. So I'm going to address him just for the fun of it, right? And um, I'm going to show you all his flaws and his hypocrisy, uh, his hypocrisy and his contradiction. And I got a couple of screen shares, so I don't really know, know how long I'm going to do this video. It should be not that long. But um, I'm definitely going to basically embarrass this dude once and for all. You know, I'm going to just straight eat to this dude once and for all. You know, and I try to be nice to this brother, but it seemed like to me um, you can't fix a guy that came straight up the crazy house. As you can see, he did a video on me called fake as RBG, and he used the N-word like God Nollywood Jr., the exact same N-word that Europeans used to call my people. And as you can see, he got his looking like a, you know, got his little Donald Trump hat on, you know, it, you know it looked like one of those Make American Great hats. And um, for some apparently reason, he feels like he want to take shots at me. So this is my way. This is what you call the big payback. All right. So let's get started. Here we go. I'm going to play you this video that he said. A little quick video. Uh, that he said about the RBG. There we go. Let's see if I cut this loud enough. So I want everybody. I want you to hear what exactly what he said, and I'm going to show you the contradictory. The idea of Pan Africanism, the idea of the red, black, and the green, it died with Marcus Garvey. That just he said the idea of the red, black, and green died with Marcus Garvey. Okay, so if it died with Marcus Garvey, then why are you wearing the pin with the RBG colors with Malcolm X on it? Okay, to give you a, a clear shot, as you can see, he has the uh, Operation Exodus Mississippi, which I'm going to attack later in this video, but I'm going to show you the pen. This is the pen that he has. Okay, I'm going to replay you what he said again, so you get the clear understanding where I'm coming from. That just goes to show you that Marcus Garvey had a bunch of black that just goes to show you Hold on, the on. idea of the red, black, and the green, it died with Marcus Gard. He said the idea of the red, black, and green died with Marcus Gard. So that means we can no longer use the red, black, and green colors. But as you can see, in almost every video, he has 
the red, black, and green Pan-African Colors pen with Marka Max on it. Now, I want you to take a good look at this picture. This man hates Farrakhan, talk against Farrakhan. He hates the nation of Islam. He claimed that he was in the nation for 10 years. He had, uh, he protected Louis Farrakhan. And now, after he got, you know, he claimed that while he was in the nation, he was sleeping on pickle boughs and eating stale bean pies. This is what he said. And he said this almost all his videos. If you look up all his videos, attacking the nation of Islam, this is what he always say. Basically, he was, a, he was abused in the nation. But then he makes videos with a bow tie on. He taxed the same organization. No, I'm sorry. He, he, he dresses like the same organization that he claimed that he hates. So that shows you the hypocrisy. Shows you the, the phoniness of this dude. So I want you to take a good look at this clown when he, attack, when he attacks the nation of Islam, but then he still uh, dress like he's still in the nation. He's an Arab wannabe. He even prays like an Arab. I'm gonna show you in this video, let's go back in this video. Let me go back in this video to prove my point. I'm going to show you in this video what I mean. Watch how he prays. In the name of my ancestors. Now, look how he prays. Look how he prays. Instead of in the name of Allah, he holds his hand like he's still in the nature of Islam. He's still in the nation of Islam. He's still, but instead of saying Allah, he used, he says, in the name of my ancestors. Who is, who's your ancestors? You can't name one ancestor. And then he talks in the name of my ancestors. One of his ancestors he claimed that he loved so much is Malcolm X. But he put down Malcolm. He put down Malcolm. As you can see, he has the Malcolm, he has a Malcolm X, a photo of Malcolm X in the back. Okay. He has a photo of Malcolm X in the back. He has a Malcolm X pin with the RBG colors on it. But then he bad mouth Malcolm. He made a video about how he said Malcolm was stupid. He said what Malcolm did was stupid of rejecting the white girl, the young white girl who went up to Malcolm and asked Malcolm, what can I do to help your people? And Malcolm said nothing and he walked off. Now I can't understand why Malcolm did it because when black people, when African people in this country, in America, which is country called North America, when we were down, where was that white girl? Where was that Caucasian girl? When we were down, when there was no organization to lift African people up. But as soon as that, after this, as soon as that you had a nation that was growing because of Malcolm, all of a sudden, white people get scared and they want to help out. So I believe the only reason why that white girl came up to Malcolm and she wants to help because she was scared. She was scared of the retaliation from African people. 
in this country. But according to this nut, this looney tune clown, Talik, he said what Malcolm did was stupid. And he tells his experience how when 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 um Talik tells his experience when he was in a crazy house, he said, Well, well, I wanted to get out because he served 10 years in the loony bin. And let me tell you something, when you serve 10 years in the loony bin, a lot of crap goes down. When you serve 10 years in a crazy penitentiary, a lot of crazy shit goes down. That means a lot of homosexuality goes down, a lot of freaky shit goes down in there, which I'm gonna prove to you with this dude. He said that he wanted to get out. So he, he like a slave, because he said he's proud to be a slave, which I'm going to prove to you in this video too. Like a slave, he went to the white woman and he asked the white girl or some white woman that he wanted to be, he wanted to be let out. So he, he begged the white woman, what can I do to get out of here? So the white woman said, okay, since you want to get out, these are the things I need you to do. So usually when people, and everybody know, when people start to, they when they want to get shorter sentences or they want to, to, to do, they, you know, when, women, when people are desperate to get out of the pen, nine out of 10, they snitch it. They're giving up names. And this is probably what he did so he can get out. This is exactly what this fool did to get out. He went to the oppressor and basically became a snitch for the oppressor. This is the reason why they let him out. Why would you let a crazy man out who still believed that slavery was good for black folks? And then this man don't take his meds. I know he I know he I know he has to take some meds. You can tell the way he talked. And he spent, and he's always bragging that he spent 12 years, or close to 12 years, doing videos. He makes almost a thousand videos talking about the same garbage. Ain't talking about nothing. Just a lot of yelling and a lot of uh, propaganda bullshit. And he's always talking about slavery and uh, our oppressor. He's always talking about the same thing. If he's not talking about that, he's talking about the nation of Islam. The same garbage for 12 years, okay? So I'm gonna show you a video what he said about Malcolm X, okay? Actually, this video was taken last year, March 10th, and this is what he says about Malcolm. Malcolm X, a uh, supporter, and I'm gonna now look how stupid this dude looked. He looked crazy. Because in his mind, he was not dealing with a slave, you dealing with a king. He was you could tell that the way he was looking, he was impressed by me. But guess what he says? I'll read you. Did you do you see that? Yeah. Okay. These are, these are the three things, but I'm gonna read you the top. He says, this is Malcolm X said, he said. Oh, I don't, see, I don't see the Malcolm X thing. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me, um, let me do this. Give me one second. I don't follow Malcolm X either. And he said he don't follow Malcolm X. You heard he said? He said, I don't follow Mac, I don't follow Malcolm X either. But you wear the, you, but you wear the pen. You wear the pen. So you you so you wear the pen. You got a photo of Malcolm X. 
But he said, I don't follow Malcolm X. I don't follow Malcolm X. This is what he said. I don't follow Malcolm X. Let me play that again. He said, I don't follow Malcolm X. Look at that evil grin. That crazy, that crazy grin. The, the original of Aboriginal black men, the black people of the earth. Oh, I don't see, I don't see the Malcolm X thing. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me um let me do this. Watch this. Give me one second. I don't follow Malcolm X either. Now he said he don't follow Malcolm X. So why are you carrying a pen? Why you got a photo on your wall? And every time he do a video, he has the pen. Then he contradict himself saying that the colors of, of, of the Marcus Garvey died with Marcus Garvey, but you still, read, you still wear the RBG colors. Okay. This is another video where he really go in on Malcolm. You know what you're saying? Look, Malcolm was here in 1969. He was assassinated. But uh, that was during that period of time. The problem here is those people acted upon what they knew. So this is a whole brand new ball game. This is a whole new brand new ball game. You have, you have because of the internet, you have information that we've never been exposed to before. It's always like this thing about the, the Negro being the, the native here. That's always been, because I remember hearing that as a child, but we don't control the media. Now you've got social media, all kinds of stuff is floating out here. And so Malcolm, as brilliant as he was. He said Malcolm, as brilliant as he was, Malcolm was a great debater. People are still going back and repeating what Malcolm said. Nothing has changed. But according to Talik, things have changed. And, you know, Malcolm X would have, is, is, is now irrelevant. Now, listen to what he says. Malcolm would catch hell in 2018. You can believe that, buddy. These people See what I'm saying? He's putting Malcolm down, saying Malcolm would catch, catch hell in 2018. You have, you have, because of the internet, you have information that we've never been exposed to before. It's always like this thing about the, the Negro being the, the native here. That's always been, because I remember hearing that as a child, but we don't control the media. Now you've got social media, all kinds of stuff is floating out here. And so Malcolm, as brilliant as he was, Malcolm would catch hell in 2018. You can believe that, buddy. These people ain't joking. They, done, they do their little research, like uh, they got this little beef going on between Sarah and Sadie. Now, now, he just put down an ancestor. You put down an ancestor. And he's against research. He said he's against scholarship. So if you're against scholarship and if you're against people doing research, why would Malcolm catch hell? I don't I don't understand that. Malcolm X again was a great debater. And let me tell you something. Malcolm X would have eat every all these guys up. Because Malcolm Mexus weight was way ahead of his time. This is the reason why they still play his videos. They still, everything, nothing has changed under the sun. But according to this moron, he thinks things have changed. Okay? So this is the same guy who claimed that he loved Malcolm. He wears his pen, got his photo on the wall. But he put down Malcolm X. He put down he put down the ancestor of Malcolm. Now I'm gonna play you this video. And I'm going to, I'm not too sure. I'm trying to, I'm gonna play you this video. And hear what this, hear what this moron has said.
any video that I see, especially if it's in the title. I don't now, in this video, he literally threatens Maurice Muhammad. Let me play this. I'm sorry. Let me cut this up a little bit because I want people to hear this. I want people to how he quickly runs to the enemy. He loves the enemy. And I'm going to play you that he claims that he says that he loves being a slave. I'm going to play you that video. But here's a video that he threatens another brother of going to the oppressor, or going to the enemy to get brother Muhammad arrested over some idea that he didn't even event. So his so-called idea, I mean, I mean he, he's, he bluntly said he's gonna get this man arrested and thrown in jail. Listen to what this piece of shit has said. I don't, I don't keep up with video that, that's not entitled. Any video that I see of yours talking about you the Mississippi campaign, they're gonna be flagged and removed. See, that's what I'm saying. He's still getting to the enemy. He's still into this. That's right, I just want to respect that shit. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Also, <laughs> also, I'm gonna tell you this. Now, this is the big one. This is the big one. Now, now hear that. He said, this is the big one. Now, first, he threatened the man. He's threatened this brother, Muhammad. My brother, Muhammad, he says, any video I see, I'm going to flag it. I'm going to flag your video. So that shows you, how, it just shows you jealousy. That shows jealousy. And brother, and brother Muhammad did tell him. He said, you, you envy me. You want to be me. You're jealous. He said this right in on this debate. He said this. But watch, here's the so here's the big whammy. Did he tell my brother, Muhammad? Big boy, big boy, big boy. Go ahead, big boy. You have given me another president and in Texas and in text messages, calling me nigga and stuff out of my name, or even in Texas, you know this. Mm -hmm. Now yeah, he said you calling me the calling me nigga and all that, but but whoa, wait a minute. Didn't you just call me the N-word down here? Fake ass RBG niggers like God Nollywood Jr. Didn't you just use that word? But then you get mad at Brother Muhammad for calling you that. But you just called me that. Wow. I'm going to do, I'm going to do just that. I am going to, I am going to, you continue to move in a manner using my name, Mississippi campaign, then I will go to the authority and I they charge you with a crime, they charge you with a crime, and to prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law. You heard him. You heard him. He said, I'm going to go to the authorities. If you keep using my name, I'm going to run to the, basically say, I'm going to run to the massa. I'm going to run the massa to get you locked up, telling another black man that he's going to get him locked up over some bullshit. Maurice Muhammad, my good brother, never put his hand on his dude. He never robbed him. He never harmed him. He never done anything to this brother, to this coon. Maurice never done anything harmful where it affect Talik's life. But you're gonna get him arrested over some bullshit? Oh this is this is you know, you're gonna get him arrested, but you don't get the enemy arrested that's killing our people every damn day. This is the this is the 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 the, the sickness of our people. I'm going to play, I'm going to play this again. All right, let me play this again. Let me see if I can get this. Let's see if this is. You continue to move. 
All right, let me play this again. Let me go back a little bit more. All right, here we go. Also, I'm gonna tell you this. So this is the big one. This is the big one. Oh, okay. Big boy, this is the big one. Go ahead, big boy. <laughs> you have given them a in video and in text and in text messages, calling me nigga and stuff out of my name, or even in text. You know this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do. I'm going to do it just that. Mm -hmm. I am going to. I am going to. You continue to move in a manner using my name, Mississippi campaign. Then I will go to the authority. And if they charge you with a crime, if they charge you with a crime, I'm going to prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law. And look, I'm still here. And you see what he said? He said, I'm going to go through it. I'm going to charge you for the fullest thing of the law. For what? All of a sudden, all of a sudden, Mississippi campaign that my, that uh, brother Muhammad was willing to help him out on. This is the stupid shit. I'm, this is the shit that I'm talking about. But this is coming from this hateful, evil person. I will tell everybody I called you a nigga. I ain't scared of you or them. Because you are a nigga. Don't. There you go. He's right. He's right. Talik is the white man's dog. Just like they, just like uh, if you watch Glory, with, uh, when there's a Washington character, he told Morgan Freeman, he said, man, you nothing but the white man's dog. And you heard him. He said, I'm going to run tell Massa. And I'm gonna get you arrested over some bullshit, over some Mississippi campaign that he didn't even he didn't even start yet. He didn't even he, that he don't even want to do, which I'm gonna prove in this video. See what I'm letting you know is that I'm not gonna be sitting here talking about somebody. I'm gonna let these guys talk for themselves to show the hypocrisy. See that's what I do. That's what I do. I show people their hypocrisy. I don't talk. I don't do commentaries. I don't do none of that. I'm going to prove and before I tell. I'm going to prove before I tell. So when I say this person said it, I'm going to show you that he said it. Now, as you can see, when he did this video, he didn't he didn't show anything. He didn't show anything, but he want to call me fake and all this other, but he didn't show me how I was fake. So I want people to see why I came up with this video. Because I never got a chance to address it. I always kept saying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna get him. But I'm, but see, I'm, I'm, I'm like a, um, I'm like a, a ninja. I'm like an assassin. I'm gonna get you when you least suspect it. I'm gonna get you when, when you're sleeping. When people say don't sleep, I'm gonna get you when you least suspect it. So when now when he types in, when somebody types in, the reality temple, they're gonna see that. And they're going to see, and this is the reason why when he attacked me in this video, if you look at the viewership, he didn't get that many views. 54 views, only two likes, but eight dislikes. So that should tell you something. That should tell you something. Okay. Now I'm going to show you another video where he started. You know, you know, he promotes, you know, Tali promotes homosexuality. And like I said, when he was in prison, a lot of things goes on in prison, even in a crazy house. So he tells, he tells Brother Marie some geisha. Now, one thing about my good brother Muhammad, he don't like homosexuality. Okay. Okay. We and 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 and, and he knows that that's not a part of our culture, African culture. He knows that's not a part, but this nut who love his oppressor, this Talik character, 
this Looney Tune, he has dealt with homosexuality. This is the reason why he loves homosexuality. But let's I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you and just listen to what he says to Brother Muhammad. Now this now remind you, this is the same dude that grew up that was that was in the nation for 10 years. The same Talik Amarad, who by the way, the name Talik Amarad is a Arab name, so he's an Arab wannabe. This Arab be one this Arab wannabe Negro got an Arab name. That's not even it's not even what you call a North American name or, or an American name or you know he got an Arab name. But then you want to talk about that you happy that you that there's nothing wrong of having uh an American or uh or ghetto names. There's nothing wrong, but why, how come your name is not an American name? You got an Arab name, Tali Amarad. Sound fucking stupid. But what listen with listen type of filthy shit that he says to my good brother, Mr. Muhammad. Ain't gonna sit me in jail. I sell it to to them and to you. Good, we can do that in jail. Cause you still an Uncle Tom nigga, not an Uncle Tom. You're a Sambo. Whatever, whatever, sir. Get yeah. Me. When you go to jail, the campaign is over. Cause ain't nobody gonna be able to take the place. Oh yes, move on. I'm doing nothing. You don't have to do nothing. Do nothing. Yeah. I'm living or dead. It's do going. To, it's nothing. going. To, it's yeah. going to succeed. There ain't nobody gonna do nothing. Oh yeah, and they're not gonna put nothing on like you. They're not gonna put nothing on your commissary either. When you in jail, when when you in jail. Now watch this. He said, "When you in jail, watch what he's gonna say. Watch the fil the filthy homosexual thing because he knows about that lifestyle. He experienced it. Anytime when people, anytime when any bl black man or black woman say the most homosexual shit, that means they experienced that. They experienced it." Remember, he been in. Remember, Talik been in prison for ten years, so he experienced it. And then, and them boys looking at your pretty booty walking around that jail cell. See, when them little boys looking at your pretty booty, now how would he know that? How would he know that? Now why would he tell another 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 man that? Now I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna be real with it. If he if 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 Talik was in my face, and if he would have said that, I would have cracked his fucking face. I don't care how old he is. His whole teeth in his mouth would have been would would have been knocked knocked out all of it. I would have I would have busted his whole nose, every bone, or his his eye socket would have been in his brain. I don't play that. I don't play that. That's not cool to say. Let me play this again, because I want people to see. And when I, and after that, I'm going to show you something else. Faceless troll, but the majority of them ain't nobody there. Faceless troll. They're not going to see you nothing. Put nothing on you. Tom, you're a sambo. Whatever, whatever, sir. Get yeah. out. When you go to jail, your campaign is over. There ain't nobody going to take your place. Oh yes, it's gonna move on. Like I'm doing nothing. Do nothing. Yeah. You don't have to do nothing. I'm living or dead. It's do going to. It's nothing. going to. It's yeah. going to succeed. There ain't nobody gonna do nothing. Oh yeah. They're not, and they're not gonna do nothing. They were like you. They're not gonna put nothing on your commissary either. You when you in jail, when when you in jail, and then and them boys looking at your pretty booty walking around that jail cell. You know, your, all your campaign for these faceless trolls, because the majority of them ain't numbers of damn faceless trolls, they're not going to send you nothing, put nothing on you. Now you see, he, he, he he's talking all this homosexual stuff, or they looking at when, you, when you're in jail and looking at pretty people, because he's been there. He was probably one of those guys that was messing with those, mess with young, those young guys coming in there, or either, either that, he was probably, get, he was probably getting messed with by some grown dude. When he was getting when he was getting locked up, only a prison dude would know about that homosexual homo, homosexual life. Remember, he did say that he got locked up for ten years. He did say that, and as you can see, 
I'm going to show you another video where in this video, he had a dude that he paid to come see him all the way from Nebraska. He paid this dude all the way. As you can see, this man, he, Tali got his boxes on, got his white shirt. And this guy, they look like they just got up together, slept in the same bed together. You notice that Tyreek never had a woman over his house, but he invited this dude from all the way from Nebraska. Tyreek paid. It was a hookup from a homosexual hotline. Okay? These guys were lovers. Okay? All right. Everybody. Getting ready. Uh, right, we did. We just did an upload test video. Yeah, uh, a live test video, rather. Now we do. Okay, these guys all love it. You see, you see the the. His, I think this guy named Talib. You could tell he got, you know, he slept in his Nebraska sweatshirt or sweater, whatever he had on. I don't know. But Talib was pay him was literally taking care of his male lover. Literally taking care of him. He paid to come see, see him. Took a ticket, took a plane ticket, bought his plane ticket. He paid Talib to even uh, his first laptop. Because Talib, when he started making videos, he was Talib was using his phone. Then all of a sudden, Talib had a lab a laptop or a computer. And now all of a sudden he starts talking about. He supports the Mississippi campaign or or or, or the uh, or the uh, Operation Exodus Mississippi, and he, you know, so you know, so basically, um, Talik literally su supported this dude. He supported. They were lovers, and see, this is how Talik gets down. This is how he gets down. He pays people to support. Him. He paid uh, Craig by uh, buying his equipment. Okay. And then he got the audacity to tell Craig, well, you can't talk about that RBG stuff. You can't talk about that. Trying to get Craig to, to, to speak or, or to, to, uh, to, get away from his platform. He also paid um he also paid uh uh what's his name? King Noble. This is the reason why you hear you might hear people say stuff like um oh yeah you know uh support um Angel Snuffs Up Seven he's a free thinker that's what King Noble actually said that oh you know uh you know uh tally Ty, uh angel snuff up snap seven is a free thinker and 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 that's what i like watching his videos and i'm like wait wait a minute how do you know because tally paid him he paid him to say this is what he does he paid him he said look i'll pay you if you could talk say something nice about me so i can get subscribers uh, he wanted to, he want to be up there with tally uh with uh, Tariq Nasheed and all these other guys. And he thought that he was going to get more exposure when uh, when Tariq Nasheed was dissing him. He thought he was going to get some sort of exposure. He said, oh, thank you for making me famous. But it didn't work out. It didn't work out. So he got, he felt stupid. Okay. So as you can see, doing just the plain upload, right? And this is Talik again, and, and brother Talib, yeah, getting ready in a few uh, hours or so. So liberation, this yes. is just a test. Yeah, just and so. then you cut it off. How do you deal with it? Yeah, yeah. So these guys were lovers, okay? These guys were lovers. So that just shows you the the um. You know, this shows you that he claimed that he loved black women and he always sees a big fan of the group involved, as you see in the background. 
So, you know, so, you know, it just shows you that the man is a homosexual. That's the reason why um, he couldn't stay in his marriage. The man was married, had a beautiful wife, but he didn't want to be with her. He don't have any children. Why a man like that? You don't have any kids. So, you know, that, that's weird to me. Very weird. But then you don't didn't have a woman in your house, but you you paid a dude all the way from Nebraska to come see you. Yeah, I know what you was doing. You was you always up in the other booty hole. But you never tell another man that. See, if he would have told me that in, in my face, I would have broke his his eye socket would have been in his brain. I don't play that shit. And I know my brother Maurice don't don't play that shit either. And I believe that Maurice would have whipped this dude's ass. And doesn't matter how old this dude is, Maurice, I think Maurice would have would have beat the shit out of him from saying some shit like that. You don't say shit like that. You don't. Now this video, um, I'm not sure. Let me let me let me play this video. And I want you to listen what he said. I'm gonna I'm gonna play you this video. But no, no, I didn't say you did. I did. Okay, what evidence? Where is the evidence? Oh, Oh yeah, okay. In this video, <laughs> in this video, he asked for the moderator. <laughs> now, in the beginning, you know, they have three rounds. It was a debate. I, I you know, I deleted this debate because I didn't want this on my page. Because to me, I, I, you know, I wasn't, I didn't, I don't, I didn't, I don't support the Mississippi campaign. I didn't want to be part of it. Um, so I did it because, you know, um, it was a lot of conflict of people didn't, they didn't want to do the video on this person page and all this other stuff. So I took it, I said, well, let me do it on my channel. And, um, and once, uh, after they copied it or whatever they did, they, you know, I could delete it. So, uh, that's the reason why, um, Talik had put it on his channel, and uh, and you know it, even in this channel, you can see Angel Snuff Snuff. He put Angel Snuff Snuff Seven exposes the lies and theft of Maurice Muhammad. <laughs> you know, so you know it, it, he he starts to attack brother Maurice even in the titles, and that's another thing. Most of his videos was attacking Maurice. That was another thing too. If it's not Maurice, is is Ben X, you know. And this is what he, and you know, it's like this nature of Islam beef, you know. But he's causing this this this, you know, uh, conflict. He's the one who who's the culprit. Okay, he's the one who's the culprit. Now. Um, let me let me go play this video again. Oh, he, he okay. He he talks about he needs the moderator, and the reason why I start laughing because in the third round, first the first the, this, we go three rounds. The first two rounds, each individual say their piece without any interruptions, right? So Maurice might go first without any interruptions. Then after Maurice said his piece, then Talik says, uh, uh, defends his argument uh, without any type of interruptions. Now in the third round, they go, they have it where they go at it uh, without any uh, personal tax or whatever the case was. So in the early round of the third round, he automatically start asking for the moderator and I'm like, why he's asked for the moderator? There was really nothing to moderate. You know what I'm saying? You arguing, the, the whole purpose is to argue, is to so y'all can go at it and hear each other out and um and just you know literally duke it out talking about the information. Nothing more, nothing less. You know, don't talk about people's moms and uh or people's family members and all that other stuff. You know, because I would have to step in, right? But I didn't understand why he asked for the moderator when they was talking about the information. So I want I want to play that for you, real quick. I'm, 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 I'
I'm gonna go through it. Okay. Who was the who was the police lieutenant? I don't know. You the one spoke to him. I didn't speak to him. Well, yeah. You just how would you know if I called the police on you? So maybe you said it. What lieutenant? What police department? Okay. All right. Then let's look at it like this. Let's look at it like this. Oh no, no. You no. made the threat. Yes, you said it, right? So what you're saying, this is what I understand you to say. Moderator. What, well, is, what I'm understanding you to say is, can I get a moderator? <laughs> <laughs> moderator. Moderator. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck you calling a moderator for, motherfucker? You was y'all the whole purpose. There was nothing. To re it was no reason for him to call a moderator. It was nothing to moderate. It wasn't like Maurice. Maurice was only addressing what he said. He was saying that hey, you said it. You the one. Remember. Talik was the one who brought up about the first of all, for one thing, let, let, let me let me start. Let me say this real quick. Talik failed to address or try to defend his argument about the Mississippi campaign. Okay. He started talking about well, you said that I called the police on you. It has nothing to do of the Mississippi campaign. So Maurice was just addressing what he was saying. And then this idiot going to ask for the moderator. Now, now, number one, let me say this. I was the moderator. I was the moderator. And it was nothing to moderate, as you can see. There was nothing to moderate. Let me, I'm gonna play this again real quick and I'm gonna move on. But there was nothing to moderate. It, it, you said it multiple, on multiple videos, you said it. Let, let, let's just let's say I said But no, no, I didn't say you did. I did. Okay, where's the evidence? Where is the evidence? That I'm, I'm gonna go through it. Okay. Who was the, who was the police lieutenant? I don't know. You the one spoke to him. I didn't speak to him. Well, yeah. You just. How would you know if I called the police on you? So maybe you said it. What lieutenant? What police department? Okay. All right. Then let's look at it like this. Let's look at it like this. Oh no. You no. made the threat. You yes. said it, right? So what you're saying? This is what I understand you to say. Moderator. <laughs> what, I'm <laughs> what I'm understanding you to say is, can I get a moderator? I'm a liar. Moderator, <laughs> just talk. Just to talk. I need a moderator. <laughs> is that this dude is a straight idiot. You asked for a moderator. And Maurice is only addressing what he was saying. And he's asking for a moderator. What the fuck you asking for the moderator for? When you the one, you know, claimed that Maurice, brother Muhammad, you know, you 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 the one who said that. You know, mentioned about him. Uh, uh, said you you want to accuse him of telling you that you called the police on the brother. Maurice was only trying to telling you that yeah you did, you did, or at least you said you was going to do it, which he did say that. And then, as you can see, which I proved to you that he said it because he said it again in the debate. That he was going to call the authorities on. You see what I'm saying? So I didn't understand why he's asking for a moderator. So, <laughs> yo, that shit is funny. Now, I want to talk about this Mississippi campaign garbage. And yes, I call it garbage. And the reason why I call it garbage, because I'm going to show you. And like I said, I'd rather show then tell. I'm not going to just make videos and just not show you anything to back up what I'm saying. See, this is the reason why I hate when people do, they make all these videos and they don't show you nothing. So now it becomes propaganda. It becomes misinformation. 
It's become, it become hearsay. It becomes what you call internet opinions, not facts. So now I'm, I'm proving to you what this moron has said, this crazy Looney Tune who come out, came out the Looney Tune, uh, the Looney Bin, did 10 years in the Looney Bin and bragged about it. So I'm going to show you that even he said he didn't want, or he even, I'm going to show you that he didn't want to even deal with his own campaign, his own Operation Exodus Mississippi. So I'm going to show you what he says. Listen to what he says in this video. Myself personally, I am too old. I'm 55, going on 60 years old. I just don't have, I'm just being honest with you, I just don't have the energy that's required in order to really begin to pull this off. I just don't have it like that. I'm not 19, I'm not 20, I'm not 30. I'm 55 going on 60. I don't have the energy that I really need in order to have that fire, to have that drive. Suffice to say, now, see, he already telling you that he don't, he, he's too old. And then another video, he said he don't have the time. So why the fuck you want to promote something knowing that you even, you claim that you too old to pull it off? That don't make any sense. This is the reason why I said it was a pipe dream. And as you can see, the name of his video is is Operation Exodus Mississippi a pipe dream? Because he know what it is. How are you going to promote something that even you said, Talik, that you don't have the energy, you don't even have the drive? And this is the shit that I'm talking about with these so-called wannabe conscious Negroes. Now, he thought he was saying something, but he realized he can't do it. You cannot pull something off like that and still work the white man's job. He don't own that truck that he's driving. That's the white man's truck. Okay? You pushing or delivering the white man's products to one destination to another. You A campaign is a full-time job. Let me say this again. A campaign, any campaign, is a full-time job. If you're running for, if you're trying to run for presidency, or you're trying to run for Senate, governor, even when Arnold Schwarzenegger was running for governor, he had to take time off from his acting career to be the governor of California. As you can see, even Talik say he don't have the drive. He don't have the energy to do his own campaign that he claimed. It was that he claimed that he created and or or, or came up with. I'm going to play you it again because I want people to listen, to understand. I, I'm not making this up. This is real life. This is real life. This is real life. This is coming from the horse's mouth. 19. I'm not 20. I'm sorry. Let me play this again. I just don't have myself personally. I am too old. I'm 55, going on 60 years old. I just don't have, I'm just being honest with you. 
I just don't have the energy that's required in order to really begin to pull this off. I just don't have it like that. I'm not 19, I'm not 20, I'm not 30. I'm 55 going on 60. I don't have the energy that I really need in order to have that fire, to have that drive. Suffice to say. See, so he's already letting you know that he don't even have to drive the energy to pull his own campaign off. But he want other people to do it. He want other people, he could come up with an idea and people should just jump right onto it and he could take full credit of doing nothing. He's a lazy dude that don't do nothing. Only thing that he's worrying about is a paycheck and make videos. That's it. He don't care about our wear being. He don't care about nothing else but himself. He wants all this fake praise. But I tell you one thing, he won't get it from me. He won't get it from me. So that just shows you that the reason why I said it's a pipe dream. And anybody that rolls with that got to be stupid. Because why would you want to take on that responsibility knowing that the person who claimed that he created, he said he created it and it was his idea. He don't, he, he said it for himself. He don't have to drive. So that means he's not trying to start nothing up. He's not trying to get the campaign rolling because he don't have the energy. So he's not going to do it. So why would you, why would anybody want to take on that responsibility when he don't want to take on that responsibility? This is the reason why I say it's a pipe dream. And I, this is the reason why I say I didn't want to support that crap. It's garbage. But then again, he turns around and down other people who start things off, like Marcus Garvey, you know, Marcus Garvey, every anybody who start organizations, he wants to put them down, the Nation of Islam. He wants to put them down who actually try to do something. But he's not trying to make it better. I, I at least I want to take things and make it better and continue the legacy and try to make it better with a little bit of resources that I have. But he's not trying to do that. So he want to put down our greats. No different than a slave sounding like his slave master. OK. So I, I, I just want to, to show you. The, the the hypocrisy of this dude. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you another video. I'm gonna show you another video. Um let me see here. Let me see here. Let me show you another video. Okay, in this video. In this video, I'm going to break this up. I'm going to show you little clips that I wrote down and show you all the flaws in his argument. Okay? I'm going to show you all the flaws in this clown's argument. Um, and, and basically, he's talking about soul is the best. That's, this is the title. He said, soul is the best identity to describe black people. Now, black people is very, very, uh, very general because you got black people everywhere. You got black people in, in, in Africa. You got black people in the Caribbean. He never said soul is the best identity to describe, uh, I, I don't know, he could use the word black people here in America. He don't, he, don't, he don't say stuff like that. So black people is very general. I don't like these general terms, like that whole black American. I don't know what a black American is. I don't know. I do not know what a black American is. I really don't, because you got black people in South in South America, you got black people in Central America, you got black people here in North America. But you're talking about continents, you're not talking about countries. 
So I don't know what a black America is. I don't like these general names, these general terms. So he's talking about soul. And I'm gonna show you that he has different definitions of soul. And I don't think he realized because you're dealing with a man like Talik, he has different personalities. He has different personalities. Okay. This is what I, I this is the reason why I don't I don't I don't like. This is this, this you know, so he he reminded me of that movie with a guy, um not it wasn't glass, it was uh split. That movie split where that dude had 26 personalities. And this is what Tyler, he has all these personalities. He has different definitions of soul. First, he said soul was a from the, the, the descendants of slaves born in America, uh, from the dark of the dark, from the light to the light, and all this, all this nonsense. Then he says soul is uh, the, 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 the definition of soul means uh, life. Okay, then he's talking about soul means something else. Okay, so so I'm gonna play you a couple of clips, and I'm gonna address those clips. Okay, so we're gonna do by frame by frame. Um, you know, I wrote, I wrote some uh, frames down, so we're gonna do it that way. Okay, here we go. So. Now, in this, now, what he says, and there's another thing I don't understand. He, he don't like the nation of Islam. This is what I do notice about this clown. He don't like the nation of Islam, but he's, he's always talking about Elijah Muhammad. Well, according to Elijah Muhammad, according to Elijah Muhammad, or Elijah Muhammad said, well, if you don't have nothing to do with the nation of Islam, why are you quoting with Elijah Muhammad? If you're not a Muslim, why are you quoting Elijah Muhammad? Why are you praying like you're still in the nation of Islam? Why are you why are you wearing the bow tie when you decide to dress up and you and you dress up like a like a Muslim? But then you want to talk about you can't you don't like the nation of Islam. You talk about Farrakhan. He's always then he say he wrote a letter to Farrakhan. Talking about, oh, I wrote a letter to Farrakhan about the Mississippi campaign, and he didn't answer me back. Well, if you if you claim that that this man done you wrong, or you don't like this dude, why are you expecting to write you or take your eye? Why you why are you writing to him? Oh, you know, one of my my relative died, and uh, he didn't reach out. Well, you claim that you don't like the man. You're not gonna bad mouth me, and you think I'm gonna support you? You know, say fuck you too. So I don't understand. So he's still connected to the NOI. So he's lying to the people. He's an Arab wannabe. He has an Arab name, Tali Amarad. It's an Arab name. Look it up. But then he wants to talk about, he wants to call other people Arab wannabes, but he's the main one. And listen what he says. Now, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught me. See, the, uh, uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught me. And he said this more than once in his video. OK, let me play this again. Now, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught me. That See? The Ajma Laj Muhammad saw him and he said it a couple of times in this video. So this shows you the hypocrisy. Now I'm going to show you another frame. Okay, give me one second. It's 5.45. And I'm going to show you another thing where he else he said, and I'm going to address it. I'm going to address it. I'm going to stop right there. To no Arab. I don't have to prove nothing to no African or no Jamaicans or whoever else you want to try to copy. Because I'm being myself. What's wrong with being you? 
What is wrong with being you? What's wrong with being the child of a slave? You see what he said? What is wrong of being a child of a slave? So he thinks that our history starts from slavery. He believes slavery is a good thing. He believes slavery, he said, he said, there's nothing wrong being called a slave here in this country. So this is how he looks at it. This is how he looks at his own people as slaves. This is all we know. We are slaves. This is the self-hatred that comes out this man's mouth. This demon, this black demon. That's what he is. What's wrong with your history starting in slavery? That's another thing y'all got a problem with. Wow. First of all, our history did not start from slavery, dickhead. It didn't start from slavery. But this is what he said. He said, our history, what is wrong with our history starting from slavery? That's not true. Our history did not start from slavery. This is what your master taught you. Your master said that your history taught. This is what he learned from his oppressor. Because our oppressor said our history started from slavery. This is the reason why when you become too conscious, they kill you. They did that with Nipsey Hussle. They did that with Brother Malcolm. They did that with Dr. King because they knew too much that we was they was waking up their people. They don't want you, the, your, your, your oppressor don't want you to become too conscious. Make, make, remember what J. Edgar Hoover said. He said there will never be another black messiah unless we create one. And they gave you Barack Obama. But see, he's he's the uh, the white man's dog. So he's talking for his oppressor. We sick, boss. We sick. We sick. This is this is him. Our history. I heard a sister this morning. You know, our history did not start with slavery. You are damn lie. Your history did start with slavery. Whether you like it or not. All that feel good fairy tale part. You see, he thinks if we embrace each other, call each other gods and goddesses, kings and queens, and I'm talking about the ones that actually deserve those titles, but those titles could be could be on because I'm not calling no woman who's a whore, a queen, or my sister. I'm not gonna call no woman who has baby out of wedlock from different dudes a queen. I'm not doing that. Those, those titles are well earned. I'm not calling a brother, any any black man, my brother, because every brother ain't a brother. I'm not calling no black woman a sister because every sister ain't a sister. Those titles are earned, but he claimed those people who deserve those titles are feel good rhetoric. But then you want to say that calling each other slaves and using the N word on each other, that's a good thing. And what's wrong with our history starting in slavery? Look. Look in the mirror. See yourself. You have not. Okay, let me fast forward real quick to, uh, let me see this. Uh, okay, let's start right there. But then, as you develop and mature, then you grow into the being that you are. It's not where you start, it's where you end. It's what you mature into. Ain't nothing wrong with being a child of a slave. He said it again. There's nothing wrong being the child of a slave. You see? There's nothing wrong being a child of a slave. What's wrong with it? You should love it. You should love being a slave. You should love cooning. You should love bowing down to your master. When you really know your history, y'all talk all this research stuff. I did my research and Kim is so great and Kim Buck too. What do you use from Kim? Did do Kim give you a computer? Now, okay, now, now he's talking, and that's another thing, talk a lot of other rhetoric stuff. Um, so, you know, I just showed you the, 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 the evil that come out this dude's mouth. 
The slave talk. I see that slave talk. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit. I'm going to fast forward. And I think this, he talks about the soul people. He gets to the soul thing. Um, let me see. Hold on. Give me one second. I think this is it right here. Let me, I'm just going to start right there. Because I want to I want to show you all something else that's very interesting. OK. With the people in America that you know. Some of y'all don't get along with your with your mom or your father or your brothers and sisters right here in America, but you're gonna tell me uh, you are a, a Hebrew Israelite, you are a more, and we connected to all this, and you don't even know what you connected to right here in the good old United States. See, he loved United Snakes in America. He loved he loved the 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 the, the hardship that we go through. He loved it. He loves it. He think it's good for black folks to to uh to be to be in bondage. This is coming from him. You messed up. You messed up in the mind. You gotta get yourself, you gotta get your own house together, the real house together, right here. Ain't nothing wrong with being a child of a slave. Our ancestors were some bad and still are some bad mama job. <laughs> How did we survive this evil over 400 years? You can't even imagine what our ancestors went through. You can't even begin to imagine. We have our problem. Our problem is nothing compared to what our ancestors went through. And they made it so that you can live to be a little sissy in 2019. They didn't have no choice. They fought and survived the best they could. You can't do no better than a damn slave. <laughs> Why you so angry? Because you don't know what to do. So you want to gravitate to, towards somebody who's free that can make you look good because you know you are nobody. I'm a Hebrew. I'm a Moor. I'm a Muslim. You want to be connected to something to make yourself like you. Like see, and see, this is what he does. Put people down. Put try to you know, you know. This is this is what he does. He he uh, he associates himself with inferiority. He thinks he's inferior. So this is what he says. Now I'm going to play you something else that was very interesting. Hope I can look for it. Let me see. It was right around fifty six. Yeah, okay, let me put it like this. You have soul. So what actually is soul? The benefit of accepting soul as an identity, as I said, is because it comes from us and it takes us out of racism. See now that now that's now that's another definition. That's two and he first he said soul was Descended of the descended of slaves, born in America, from the dark of the dark, from the light of the light. He said, "This is what he says." Okay, this is the second definition. I'm gonna play you the third definition. I'm gonna play you the third definition in this video. It's come under the title of soul because soul is a concept that was created by our ancestors. I don't have to go back. I don't have to go back five thousand years ago. I so I'm asking him, what what does soul mean? I asked him what a soul mean. He didn't say that in the other video. I asked him what a soul. He gave he gave three definitions of soul. I told you the man got different personality. My whole thing is this: if you if you need the dude, people need to stick to the script, okay? Because if if he really believes soul is what he says, so then you you should have one definition and you should stick to that definition. But he gave three definitions. What does soul mean? You know what soul means? Soul to me, it just means the He said soul to me. It, that's that's him. That's his opinion. That's it. What he thought what his soul mean. But that's not what it is. That's not what it is. He don't know. He he see, you gotta understand, folks, that soul, that that I'm sorry, 
that this guy, Talik Amarab, he don't have any real education. He dropped, he was a he was a dropout. I believe he dropped out in elementary. I don't, a matter of fact, maybe in high school. I don't even think the man got a 10th grade education. Because if you notice, he never talked about his educational background. So he's going by what he thinks, not what 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 uh the real definitions of what he's saying. He's not going by uh the real going by the real definition he going by his own definition and he want people to go along with it the essence, the essence of life oh oh so what, that's what, all that it means it takes you sister, i don't have to go back i don't have to go back five thousand years ago i have to go back what it sold me you know what sold me sold to me it just means the essence the essence of life oh oh so <laughs> this dude, I swear, this guy's full of shit. And he's he he he's this. He just made a video. This is my brother Jabari. Some of he's a chemic wannabe. He's a fair wannabe and all that stuff. And he he repeats the same thing that that black people been saying for from day one. Soul spirituality. It's the same thing. He said the essence of life. So what do you think the aunt means? Life. So if you talk about the essence of life, but then you dissing people of people who, who like comedic science, you know, that's trying to learn their history, trying to get the get the foundation of their history so they can move forward. But then you end up repeating the same thing that everybody else been saying. He said, as you you heard what he said, he said, soul means the essence of life. But then this video. He give you another whole definition. Now, if you notice, the Caucasian people and their media, they latched on to black power, black this, black that, to keep you, keep you and me trapped in the. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna fast forward this and. Uh, I'm gonna play you something else that this cool this this piece of shit said. Um, I think it was this one. Uh, let me go back here. Oh, come on. It's not playing. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, come on. So this is the thing, brothers and sisters. So if James Brown and Aretha Franklin, may they both rest in peace. I love them. If if Aretha Franklin is the queen of soul, and James Brown is the godfather of soul, if soul did not exist, if it's nothing. Then what was they the godfather and queen of then? What they said, talk black to me. Now, first of all, they said Tina Marie. They said she had soul. They call her the Ivory Queen of Soul. That's strange. Um, they said Elvis Presley had soul. They said Bill Clinton had soul because he played a saxophone. So I, I really don't see your point, Talik. And he claimed that we created soul. But I want to play you something else, and I'm gonna see if if it he he said. What was they? What was they? Doing? What was James Brown the Godfather of? Just music. Soul was more than music. It was more than food. It was our identity. It was the creation of an identity for a people that had nothing, and you developed it. You developed something for yourself. It was a culture. It belonged to you, and you shame of it because you feel with self hatred. That's right. I'm not the one with self hatred because I love the slave. I'm not shame of the slave. You are. You feel with self hatred. You shame. It's just like some of you. You shame that your mother probably was a prostitute. You shame. 
that your daddy was probably an alcoholic. You shame of that kind of stuff. You don't want nobody to know your mom was a prostitute and your daddy is a drunk. Understandable. But that's not the case. Our people are strong. Our people are, are were wise. They survived 400 years of torture. And you're just going to ignore that. And here you are. You can barely handle the stuff. That now, now, you heard what he just, you heard what this piece of shit said. Now, who's not going to be ashamed that their mother, their mother might be a prostitute or their father might be a drunk? What child is not going to be ashamed of that? So, yeah, I'm going to be ashamed of my ancestors being slaves. Yeah, I'm going to be ashamed. When I was, when I saw Roots, I was ashamed. You know, I was, I'm ashamed where that they was forced in that condition. They had to do what they had to do to survive. Yes, I'm going to be ashamed of that. But according to him, you should not be ashamed of it. You should embrace your mom being a prostitute. You should embrace that your father is a drunk. This is what he says. This is what he says. You should embrace it. What's going on right now to this day? You can barely deal with it. I'm going to say this and we're going to get out of here. Because soul is just a description of a people. It's the development of a culture that if you are a Christian, if you're a Muslim, if you're a Hebrew Israelite, if you're RBG, it don't make no difference about what, what we personally decide to believe, believe in or practice. It has nothing to do with that. It's just an umbrella that all, all of us can come in as a people, stand as a people. So when you go against soul people, you are you are going to go against the RBG, the the uh, the Muslims, the Hebrews, the Moors, the Kemetic. You have to deal with all of us. Soul put us under, makes us all family under that one umbrella. And all of this is our culture. And when you talk about soul history, you talk about the culture that all of this brings together under one platform. That's what we need. One thing that give can give us strength. So. That we're not just five fingers. Now I'm gonna I wanna go back. I wanna go back because I wanna show y'all something. And I'm I'm probably missed it. Um he talks about I'm gonna see if I can see it here. I'll see if he talks about it here. You wanna force yourself on somebody who don't want nothing to do with you. I'm perfectly happy in my own skin because I'm free, because I'm independent. I don't need your happy ass. Roll out. Move on. You have soul. So what actually is soul? The benefit of accepting soul as an identity, as I said, is because it comes from us. And it takes us out of racism. See, that's the. See, there, if you see that's the that's another definition. See, he gave three definitions that I know of. Now I want to play you a part, and I'm trying to find a hopefully I can skip it where he talks about the traffic light. And my whole thing is this: you don't talk about something, and you're not going to give a name of these people who did who did who who invented this stuff. I'm trying to look for it. I want y'all guys to bear with me. Notice the Caucasian people and their media, they latched on to black power, black this, black that. Let me see this. To keep you, keep you and me trapped in their race garbage. And when you talk, you sound like a racist wannabe because everything that come out your mouth, oh, the melanin. And we great because of the black skin and what these dark skinned people, you sound like like them, racist. And they know it. It's obvious this guy don't know what racism means. That's not racist. I don't, I don't, he's obvious. Racism is nothing but privilege and power and control. I mean, let me say, I'm just going to narrow it down. Privilege and power. That's it. 
privilege and control. Privilege for one race and that race is controlling another race of people. That's what racism is. Black folks, African people cannot be racist. We can react on racism, but we're not racist people. This is another guy, and he started to remind me of Uncle Ruckus. This is the Uncle Ruckus that, that, uh, that you see here. Now, I want you to take a look at something in this video. You see his shirt? And he's always saying that we, you know, calling us African wannabes and all this other stuff. But he has a Chinese shirt on. Now, he's not Chinese, so he's an Asian wannabe. He's a Chinese wannabe. But then you have a Chinese shirt on with a Maka Mex pen with the RBG colors. How's that work? Told you the man is confused. The man came straight from the crazy house. He don't know what he can be. He don't know what he want to be. Something's terribly wrong. Now he knows Asian people look look down on him. But you wearing his shirt, but then you want to put that put down your own people, but you got the audacity to wear another culture shirt. The same culture will look at you as a dummy, as an idiot, as a as a slave. You're nothing but a dark-skinned version of them. You think that you're different from them. You're not. You're the same. Soul takes us up out of racism because soul has no color. It's the essence of life. That's all that it really is. And you work and you basically- Now he, now he said it again. Hey, that's a, another definition. That's another definition, which I already played. He said it again, but he gave a whole nother definition. Everything that you are, on that concept. You have a culture. You have all these things that you was creating naturally. Even the name. Was that Shaniqua? Shanane? Whatever. I don't really know a lot about these different names. I heard them. But I really don't know a lot of these different names. These names. But when you hear these names, what do you hear? You automatically associate these names with who? A soul brother and sister. It's yours. So he says that we should keep these ghetto names and reject the African names, but we just keep, we just keep the ghetto names. This and is crazy. The name of what you create, you think that calling yourself Johnson or Muhammad or all these other stuff that we pick up, you think that's the way to go. And you shame what come up out of your own womb. You shame of the baby that you create. Soul is what we create. Shanene, these so-called ghetto names, that's ours. Ebonics is ours. <laughs> there was a time when these Pecklewoods didn't even know what we was talking about when we spoke Ebonics. What, the, what is the Negro I was talking about? The slaves developed a language. This I think it was called else. Pig Latin. They develop a language and they could talk right in front of the slave master. Slave master don't know what the slave was talking about. It was English, but he didn't have no idea of what the slave was talking about. Creating your own language. Doing your own thing. And then you're going to turn around and tell Masa, well, this is what they're talking about, Masa. But it's yours. You will free your own people. Act as a free person. Why are you sharing what you develop? You create, we create rap music. Now, the only reason why you would embrace rap music because it makes millions and millions and billions of dollars. But it came from us. A whole lot of things come from us. We improve things. We improve baseball. We improve basketball. We improve everything we touch. And we create that which is new. And you shame of that. You got to be proud, try to find some kind of pride going back 5,000 years. Trying to find. Are you serious? I just, uh, <laughs> I applied for some insurance not too long ago. And on the insurance, they want okay. you to, they ask 
Let me, let me, I'm going to find that what he says about the traffic light. And um, this, I'm trying to find that. Let me see if I can find it somewhere. Got to skip through this stuff, man. You messed up. You messed up in the mind. You got to get yourself. You got to. And we can go back to Africa. Who the hell do you know in Africa? Because I'm proud of me. I love me. Nobody better than me. These ladies, I love them. They ain't better than me. But you think that way. You think people that live 5,000 wow. years ago, the more and more, you think oh, what they do, you think Oh, man. This is crazy because I, I, I had the, um, I wanted to show the, show the people, uh, he says something about the traffic light. Ah, uh, shoot. Let me see if I can find it. Come on. But that, because you have the wrong lady, you have the wrong description, you have the wrong name. That's the reason why. But this is what happened to us when you was property, when you belong to somebody, just like, just like your dog in your house. You name your dog Spot or Rover or whatever. Okay. Yeah, he talks about the traffic light. And he's always saying, what is our connection to Africa and all this other stuff? I'm trying to look for that. And um, and uh, then I want to get into the argument him and Alquan had got into. And I'm going to end this video that way. I'm trying to look for it. Um, I don't know if it was, you know what, let me, let me go back to my pinpoints. And I'm going to show you. And I know I have it. Let me see. Let me go up here. Um, go to my pinpoint. Maybe I didn't play the whole thing all the way. You want to try to copy? Because I'm being myself. What's wrong with being you? What is wrong with being you? What's wrong with being the child of a slave? What's wrong with your history starting in slavery? That's another thing y'all got a problem with. That's crazy. Our history, I heard a sister this morning. You know, our history did not start with slavery. You are a damn lie. Your history did start with slavery. Whether you like it or not, all that feel good fairy tale garden. And what's wrong with our history starting in slavery? Look. Look in the mirror. See yourself. You have not described. Now, when you pick up an orange, there's a reason why that's called an orange. This is you don't a call an apple an orange. If somebody, that's the reason why. But this is what happened to us when you was property, when you belonged to you can play on YouTube. You think you're free because you can drive off. Ah, I hate this. It's flesh. But in religious texts, it talks about we leave this body and we have a... There's no Caucasian people or basketball players. They have not created one with that type of... That rhythm. You got this kind of rhythm. You got that swag. They said the Negroes got soul. <laughs> You got soul. So they acknowledge that you got soul. You, you got life. It's amazing of how we come from a situation where we were surrounded by death 24 hours a day. We're not doing <laughs> too much better in 2019. But clearly, doing chattel slavery, we are surrounded by death and suffering 24 hours a day. But out of that, we're still able to hold on and able to live. And they, the slave master, and those who are looking at us in this situation. That's all he does. He and just rambles. The thing about it is, many of these ancestors are still alive today. You want to go all the way back 5,000 years to Kim, all the way back to ancient Ethiopia. You want to go back to, 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 to hunt. 
that live right now today. Let me see if I can find. Let me skip through this stuff. So, and I can work with that. And I can make something out of it because I'm free. I'm free to do what the hell I want. I don't need to copy nobody. Right. I can be me. That's your problem. That's why you don't understand. Uh, so I go from one of Islamic countries. And they tell you, you're not a real Muslim. You look, you feel stupid. Then you want to try to make up all these excuses to try to. You were. That's what I was. Use a sperm and an egg. That's what we. That's what we well, all Well, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna end it right there, um, because I. I can't look for, the. Um, the thing. I thought. I, I thought. I put it. I thought. I thought. I put a pinpoint on it. But basically, he was saying about all oh, the traffic light and stuff like that. But you know, one thing about this clown, he's always talking about how. Um, He's always talking about what is our connection to Africa, you know? And I remember Alquan had said the same thing. We don't have no connection to Africa. And my thing is like this, if you're going to uh, use quotes or you're gonna like describe certain things, make sure you mention the name so the people can know uh, what you're talking about, you know? So if you're gonna mention any type of inventions, name the person who invented it, okay? So I'm gonna play you, I'm gonna show you our connection to Africa, to all the morons that believe that, that we don't have a connection, okay? As you can see, here's a picture of Garrett Morgan. He invented the traffic light. Okay, there's a brother that invented the traffic light that's saving lives to this very day. Okay, before this brother, there was no traffic light. And there was a lot, and there was a lot of accidents. Okay. Do it before his time. But of course, America, white America, would never give us a thank you for, for this invention. So, but never mind the invention. Look at the colors. The red, yellow, green. Where do you think those colors come from? Where do you think those colors come from? But I'm going to show you where those colors come from. The Ethiopian colors. The Ethiopian colors. That's where they came from. Now, this brother, who was a slave, who, who if he was a slave, then you would think that the colors of the light, of the, of the, of the uh, traffic light would be red, white, and blue. Not red, yellow, and green. It will be red, white, and blue, according to the flag. But as you can see, his mind, this brother's mind, wasn't a slave mind. He had an African mind because he knew he was African. So these are connections to. Africa. Okay. This is reason this is what the colors came from. Okay. So I want people to understand our connection to Africa. So don't let people sell you we don't have a connection. This country that they wanted the black people to build came from what we knew from Africa. This is the reason why they got us over here. Because they didn't have anything, they didn't have skyscrapers and all that stuff. Everything you notice, everything fell apart. If you go to Greece and Rome, all those buildings fell apart. It fell apart. So I'm gonna play you this last video and I'm gonna head out of here.
where this moron, he's arguing with um, he's arguing with Alcorn. And yes, I mean, we speak English. Yes, the white man did introduce black and soul to us. But we determined. Now, you heard what he said. He said, we speak English. He said, he said, we speak English. He said, yes, the white man introduced soul to us. Well, wait a minute. You said that African and all this other stuff was given to us. So why are you using it? Why are you using what the white man gave you? But first, he said that according to the last video I show, he said, oh, it came from my ancestors. Then he turns around and says, let me play this again. He turns around and says, yeah, you're right. The white man gave us soul. And yes, I mean, we speak English. Yes, the white man did introduce black and soul to us. See? So why are you using soul? So soul did not come from us. Soul came from white folk because you got to understand, family, that white people believe that black people didn't have no soul. According to their little evil Christian doctrine, they believed that because we were different and we had our own uh, rituals and traditions, they claimed that we didn't have any souls. Okay, so now, um, now all of a sudden, he's saying that the white man gave us soul. So why are you using it? Why are you taking it? So I could turn around and say, well, since uh, you know you claim that they gave us African, then I could turn around and do what I want with it, according to your logic, Talik. But we determine what it's going to be. We, we don't have no choice in the language that we speak. We determine what it's going to be. It's not going to be what they think is going to what they what they think is is going to be. It's what we make out of. That's the difference. And we determine they the the, the word soul come from up out of this land, but they did not name us soul people. They named you Negro and color and black and use an African. We determine. This is what we're gonna be. That's the difference. Regardless to the language, language, we determined this is what we gonna. We did it. It was not forced on us, on us or anything. We said this is how we're gonna roll. When you begin to think and act like a free person. So with that said, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Now I'm a, I want to say this real quick. Is that to be honest with you, I don't I don't like none of these bozos, right? Alcorn is another bozo I don't like. And Talik is a bozo I don't like. And as you can see, which I'm going to prove to this video, that Talik paid Alcorn as well. Now, Talik is the type of person that he gets mad at people donated to Omar Johnson. He gets mad at people donated to all these people. Sorry about that. He gets mad that people donate into Sarnetta and, and all these guys. But he donated, which I'm gonna which you which you'll hear today, you'll hear from it on his own mouth that he donated to a faceless troll. He didn't, you know, this guy named Alcorn that he never seen. Like, how could you donate to somebody that you never seen their face? We don't know how this guy look. We don't know if he's working for the government. We don't know. But I want you to listen of their argument. Now, I'm not going to lie. I would give Elquan a lot of credit in this video that everything that he said, 
he was on point. Everything that Elquan said was on point, which I was very surprised. I will give him credit. I give credit when credit's due. So, um, but listen how Talik react when somebody literally challenged him. And he's always talking about, oh, well, you know, uh, I'll debate anybody. I'll debate anybody because, you know, what he says is right. But when somebody try to debate him, he gets mad. He gets uh, uh, he gets very threatening. Uh, he, 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 you know, he gets very defensive. You know, he used insulting words and you'll see it. And Alquan, I give him a lot of respect. He didn't say anything. Um, he just he challenged him. He challenged his platform. Yeah. Um, well, we're yeah. gonna get out of here. Uh, let, let me let me get a few minutes though. Uh, sir. Now my question is this: Why would you allow somebody on your panel and not let them speak? I thought that was kind of fucked up. Why would you allow somebody on your panel and not let them speak? Not once he never said, okay, Alcon, what is your thoughts of the things I've said? No, he's going to go off and not let the brother speak. I thought that was really rude. But he he's another, he, he's a dude that talking about he wants to do better for his people and all this other stuff, but look what you're doing. You know, he didn't have, he didn't give, he didn't give what's name that respect to let him speak. If I remember correctly, I can't get him. I can't get no three minutes on your <laughs> Well, you know, it's good to talk it out. You know, black people need to discuss things so we can work it out. <laughs> but right? yeah, I'm, not, I'm not like you, though, bro. What's that? I'm, I'm not like you. I, you know, my platform, people can come here and they can say what they want to say. I'm not afraid of no wisdom. Matter of fact, if, if I believe that your way is the best way, I'll be happy to go that way. I don't have no problem with it. Well, see, I'm different. I'm different because I, I feel if your way is the best way and I'm still doing my thing, you still do your thing. And if your thing works out uh, and mine doesn't, hey, I go that way. Well, that's what people should do. Well, I mean, that's cool. But I mean, when you get to the, get to the point, I mean, I can I can I can agree with that. He has a point there. You don't even want nobody on your platform to discuss the idea. I mean, what are you afraid of? Well, uh, it's not about fear. It's just that I feel that, you know, you have a, a whole lot of videos on YouTube in every place else. I mean, uh, the. <laughs> well, that's because I've been, that's because I've been terminated on a hundred times. <laughs> I mean, the Mississippi campaign is out there, you know, and uh, it's like, you know, you can go on TRS and talk about it. I'm sure they'll definitely. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh I'm going to uh, contact Tyrone and see if I can get some time there. But see, my thing is, uh, I just don't have the time. You know, I just don't. Now you see what he said? He said, I don't have I don't have the time. First, he said he was too old. He don't have, he's not motivated. He's, he don't have the energy. But then he, now he said he don't have the time. So you don't have the time to push your project or your campaign, but you want somebody else to do it? Interesting don't have the, the, the time to, to do it. You know, I just want to, to, to uh, really promote things. I would See, I, I, he don't eat off the time. First, he said he was too old. He's not motivated. He don't have the energy. Now he don't have the time. So why the fuck you pushing this shit then? That, I don't I don't understand that. This is this is the this is the this is the shit that I'm talking about. The man is a fake. And anybody that go along with his bullshit got to be the most dumbest motherfucker on earth. Real talk, man. Like I'm not, I'm not, put, I'm not helping somebody, and they don't, and they not want to do do shit. They're not gonna want to do their own thing. They claim that they that they invented it, or it was their idea, and they don't want to do it. But you expect somebody else to, to to take on that responsibility? No, 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 no. I, no I'll leave that alone, bro. No. I would, have to, I would, I would have to be like Maurice Muhammad. Quit my job. <laughs> yeah, that was a bold move. Mm -hmm. uh, I give him credit for that. I, yeah, I, so it was a uh, dedication. Yeah, I give him credit for that. Yeah. So go ahead, uh, Brother Alquan. This is Brother Alquan, the guy 
they don't want me on his on his, on his hand. See, that's the only thing about you, man. You, you, you take things personal. You know, if, if people and you try to put people into a corner to, to say, hey. Because I know your Nation of Islam tactics, you know, where they try to back people into a corner. I don't know about the Nation of Islam. I don't, I, don't, I, don't do, I don't do a Nation of Islam. Yes, you do do Nation of Islam. You just did it. You just did it. You, the way you pray, the way you um, always uh, talking about uh, what, quoting Elijah Muhammad. Um, you, wore, you wore your bow tie. Yeah, you do do you do a lot of Nation of Islam stuff. You do that. So Alcorn was right about that. It's a lot of Nation of Islam tactics. Yes, you do. I don't have nothing to do with, with that stuff. Yeah, so you know, I don't, it, I don't know nothing about Nation of Islam tactics. Never had to use. It. Okay, you know? all right, all right. So <laughs> you know, when it came to that question, it see, it's not the fact that I declined. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that your reaction after I declined. That's part of the problem black people need to overcome and get over. You know? Well, sir, uh, I don't know how many times you've been on this on this uh, platform. Uh, uh, <laughs> even though I know that you have been in disagreement uh, with uh, this ministry <laughs> when you participated <laughs> in the uh, in my little raffle, yeah, I'll call uh, I, still, I, still, I still gave you a little something. Sorry. So, I mean, <laughs> this guy's a joke. When I come to ask you, just to, I mean, it don't cost you nothing to have a little discussion on your platform and introduce your audience to this this concept. I mean, why? I mean, so what's the what's the big deal? Well, well, my audience, they know about you. They know about the concept and everything. No, they have not talked to me in person. They have not had an opportunity to really be able, even in the chat room, or they can come on the hangout and and, and talk. We can talk. They, and that's all he does is talk. That's all he's about. Talk, talk, talk. No action. That's all he. That's all. That's what he does. He talk. He's a talker. You haven't had that opportunity. They know, but then they don't know. And I will tell you this: it's it's a, it's a difference. Sometimes we can watch videos or something like that, but when we actually have a chance, an opportunity to meet somebody and talk with them in person, it's it's, it's different. Because now it's not just words. You actually can deal with this person live and breathing in front of you. And it's, it's a much, much different. Uh, I had a situation back in, in 2009. I had all kinds of trolls coming at me. But then one day, we actually had a little meeting on, the, on my channel. And once they got to know me, more so than just go back and forth in the comments and they, you, you disagree with what I say and blah, blah, blah. But get to know me as a person and see where I'm coming from, that quash that. Because now you see me more as a human being, more than this just an opinion or this personality. Because I understand, I know that I'm probably pretty rough as a personality. I, I come off pretty strong. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, but see, uh, you have to be that way because you're, you're trying, I mean, you have to be able to defend your platform. Well, see, here, here's the thing. Uh, when it comes to your ideology and Maurice Muhammad's ideology on this Mississippi campaign, I think your two philosophies divides a lot of people who might be on board. Yes, yours is uh, do what you want to do, do what thou will. Uh, uh, situation: you want to be gay, suck some penises, do that. Want to be gay, uh, gay and a lesbian, looking on each other, do that. <laughs> and you know what? Alcorn is so right about that. This is that's that's what he's saying. This is what Talik is saying. Do what you want to do. He said he's for all people. He doesn't matter what you are. He said that multiple times. He said this multiple times. Now all of a sudden he said, Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna start right there. <laughs> where, where did you where are you getting that from? That's a lot. No, no, I'm getting that from you. No, you didn't hear that from me. You didn't say those exact words. No, I'm not, and I'm not going to say that exact words. You said you can come as you are. If you're gay or not, we don't care. Yeah, he did say that. Talik did say that. He said it like you go on his videos. He said I don't care. I don't care. I'm not. I don't care about none of that. He said I'm just worrying about the. Uh, you know, I'm worrying about get a, a safe haven. 
for my people. I don't, you could be gay. I don't care about none of that. He's always saying that. And all of a sudden, he claimed he didn't say that. Unbelievable. Don't let no difference. You're living in anyway. You're living in anyway. You are living in an environment right now with gay people, lesbian people, and pedophiles, and all kinds of riffraff. So why would you want to continue that if you wanted to get away? What's the point of getting away if you're going to keep everything you got? Good question. Very good question. Go ahead, Alquan. I get, like I said, he, he might be a moron to other things, but he did ask some really good questions, questions that Talik could not answer. But it's just black. process. What you don't understand, see, you have limited vision. You have limited vision. You don't understand. Now, you see how, you see how he, he started to insult Alcorn? Alcorn didn't, he just asked some simple questions. And this is what happens when you can't defend your platform. And this is, this is exactly why his idea is flawed, because he can't defend it. It's a process. You, like in the crazy house, it's, it's an old saying. See, he talk about the crazy house. The man's crazy. It's an old saying. I don't know about no old saying, but he does. You want when you want when you want. Well, and there's a lot of situations. You want when you want when you want. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like some crazy shit. You can't get what you want when you want. I might not see this in my lifetime, but you begin a process, and you don't want to alienate your people because all of them deserve freedom, justice, and equality. I don't have the right to deny any of them because if you wanted to, if you want to get technical like that, then let's get technical. I don't want to be around people that smoke. I don't want to be around people that drink. I don't want to be around people that short. I don't want to be whatever. The now, it's so funny that he said, he said, I don't like the people that smoke or drink. I remember he told me because I said, I, sometimes I drink, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I, don't, I don't drink heavy, but sometimes I drink some wine or whatever like that. He tells me, well, I don't, he said, we, we get this on and popping in Mississippi. We control Mississippi. He told me straight up, he didn't want me in Mississippi. He didn't want me. He said, I, I wouldn't be uh, welcome if he if he uh, controlled, if he had a uh, had some sort of control of Mississippi. But then he's he willing to bring homosexuals into Mississippi or swirlers. You know, what I mean, I remember he told me that like it was yesterday. Your problem is I don't want to be around those, those people like that. Yeah, that's your choice. Right. That's that's right. It's my choice. So but that's not what we about. Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, all our freedom fighters did not sit around talking about all the, all the homosexuals did and the biracial. They didn't care about that stuff. It was about actually, no, they did. No, it was not about that. It was. Alquan was right again. He's on point. They did talk about that. He's Alquan was right. I gotta give the I gotta give the dude a lot of credit. He he, he was on point. Yep, they did speak against all that. Marcus Max was uh, was uh, was for separation. He wasn't. But this clown, this nut, this Looney Tune, he's about integration. You know what I'm saying? Even when it comes down to his own people. Who who has who who's keeping that European lifestyle? He wants to in, 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 uh, integrate that among other black folks. That that's not about that stuff. Okay, so he's definitely about life equality for all people. That's what he's always saying. Uh, like uh, liberty and justice for all people. He's always saying that. Who's all people? I'm assuming white, black, yellow, brown, red people. Was fighting for all the people because nah, nah, many, nah. Of the people, many of the people were that was fighting that did many many things in the in the struggle was that and plus how do you some of these people you you will never even know after a while you will know <laughs> you know no no you won't <laughs> you, no, you won't. some time no you won't no you won't they're gonna they're gonna, people, they're gonna take that advantage people. of their uh, uh uh craziness no there are many people <laughs> there are many people who live those lifestyles. Right next to it, you'll never know, never know, because they don't carry themselves like that. No, you get an you're, idea. You're tipping off stereotypes. Well, see, that's that's the main problem between you and Maurice Muhammad. He's trying to lay down laws and rules before it gets started. Yours is do what you want to do, and as uh, uh, long as you're black, we isolate ourselves. Then if there's chaotic times, we work that out afterwards. So you want to. He's telling the truth. That's true. Maurice. 
wanted to knock that out before the, all that stuff. This is the reason. This is the reason why I respect brother brother Muhammad because he's he's trying to set the foundation. Now he's letting people know, look, this is how it is. We're gonna have our own. We're gonna have our rules, just like every other government has their rules and regulations. But Talik, he don't believe in rules. See, he believes in this Greek and Roman theory where anybody can do what they want to do. You can have homosexual acts and lesbian. Anybody can do what they want to do as long as that no one gets hurt. But Brother Maurice is saying, no, we have laws and reg uh, laws and regulations. This is the reason why you go to Uganda, they have an anti-homosexual law. You can't you can't practice that stuff. That stuff, people carry diseases. You got all these diseases walking around. People got all types of shit walking around. Herpes, uh, AIDS, HIV, uh, hepatitis, all these diseases. But this nut, this crazy idiot gonna say, oh, come ask, come on, you could, it doesn't matter. I don't care about none of that. Come in. I'm worried about the justice and liberty for all people. Gotta work it out before it gets to that point. That's why people are, are siding with Maurice Muhammad because he sounds like, okay, here's a structure, here's a plan, let's get to it. This is why this is why Maurice Muhammad had more subscribers than this nut. This is the reason why Maurice Muhammad had more subscribers and more followers. Okay? Because this is a brother with structure. We need structure. Now I'm very surprised. I don't know if this nigga. I'm sorry, I don't even want to use that word, but some words just fits for certain people. Now, I don't know this Kunish dude had parents, because even with parents, you had laws and regulations. A child have laws. There's do's and don'ts as a child. Yours is more of a, a general plan with no rules. People need rules, even if they don't like them. This is it. I'm not. I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to be the savior. I'm trying to put you, put us as a people in a better economic place. No, 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 no. He said I'm not trying to be your savior, but he said that he want to create a safe haven for black people. You are trying to be a savior. You always you you want to be the leader. You want to be you want to be the uh, the, the master of, of of this campaign. But then you then you all something. You want to, um, you want to be, uh, you say, you, I'm not trying to be a savior, but you're trying to create a safe haven. I'm a little, I'm, I'm confused there. I'm not trying to create a Muslim nation. He wants to create some kind of Muslim nation or some kind of black. No, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to create just a place to put, give you, put us in a position to give us benefit. No more, no less. I don't care what you, I don't care. What your religious belief is, I don't care what you do in your bedroom, that's not none of my concern. I don't care who you're married to, that's not none of my concern. I don't want you shot down the street, regardless to your whoever you are. I don't want to see those things continue to happen to us. That's, he, a, that's a raw, raw idea, unrefined plan. It's just a general, let's get away, but hey, uh, you can be what you want to do. You want to be a gangster, kill people, so be it. Never said that. The yeah, but that's what you're saying about things. The I'm tell you Continue to tell these lies because you think like a slave. You think like a slave and you don't understand you cannot come. Wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. He's saying he's telling Alcorn he thinks like a slave, but you just heard him say that it was okay to be a slave. You just heard him say that, you know, don't be um don't be ashamed of being a slave. He even said that. And he, he said, well, you think like a slave. So what is this? Is being a slave is a good thing or a bad thing? See, this is the shit that I'm talking about. He's full of contradictory. He said, because the way Alcorn thinks, which Alcorn was on point so far, he was very on point. But he said Alcorn is acting like a slave or think like a slave. But then he just made, I just showed you where he said that there's nothing wrong being a slave. He said it. I'm a little confused. I thought like you, if I thought like Maurice Muhammad, I wouldn't be talking to you right now because I understood my situation when I was incarcerated. I understood what I needed, I had to do. If it was not for white people, I would not be talking to you right now. I reached out to the black people and guess what the black people did for me when I was incarcerated? They laughed. That's what they did. They made mockery. 
They didn't do nothing for me. So you're in debt to the uh, white man. You no, I'm not in debt to nothing. I understand that I. Yes, he is in debt to white people. He just said it. He said, I, he said, if it wasn't for white people, I wouldn't be talking to you for now. So he's in debt to white people. He thanks white people. He went to the white woman to be free out of out of prison. And he dissed black people who wanted to stay because the black people who stayed in the crazy house, they knew they wasn't ready for the outside. Those black people who stayed, who didn't want freedom, they knew. They knew that they wasn't ready for society. That's the reason why they stayed in. But this guy, he wanted to be out. And as you can see, he spread a lot of venom, a lot of hatred. And this is the reason why I don't want to have nothing to do with him. The only reason why I had this clown on my platform is because of Craig. That's it. Because of the strength of Craig. But I don't want to have nothing to do with him. I had to use, I had to use what was available to me. Learn how to use the tools that's available to you. That's fine. And you don't know how to do that because these this mindset, these, these teachings, this mindset that you guys have is what? And you're not gonna get nowhere with that because that's not how that's not how things go around. Well, I'll say this: if you wanna go to a, a secluded area with black people and a whole bunch of homosexuals uh, thinking about uh, doing some things to you, then I mean that's on you, you know. But other people, they need rules, they need structure. Homosexuals. I have nothing to do with that. This is America. <laughs> this is America. This is no rule. Oh, if it's America, then why do you want to separate? Good question. Good question. If it's America, he's, he's always talking about rules and, and regulations in America. He love America. Oh, this is America. Okay. So why you want to separate? That's a good question. Why would you want to separate? You don't need to separate. We already have those things. This, this is America and you do that. Okay. So why do you want to separate then? If this is he's not going to answer the question, Alquan. You're just wasting your time. He won't answer that question. It's America. You separate and you do things in a process. You do things in a slow manner. You simmer the pot. You if, don't you populate, if you populate your area with a whole bunch of homosexuals and serial killers <laughs> and drug addicts, <laughs> then you just transfer the problem from the white man. It don't make any sense. I cannot talk to you because you can't comprehend. You you, you walk the mindset. See, you have a one track mind. No, I don't have a one track mind. See that video you I'm made about the Muslim shooting. I'm talking to you right now because I face. By myself, the state of Missouri. And the reason why I'm out talking to you is because <laughs> I learned and understood the reality of what I was dealing with. You don't understand. You, Maurice, and all these other poor no, black we, we do understand. That's why we. You see how he's always bringing up Maurice? The Maurice is not even in the picture. Maurice was right about this, this dude. Maurice said himself right in the, the debate, he said, you, you envy me. You want to be me. This is the reason why every time he's always bringing Maurice in his in his in his videos. Maurice is not thinking about him, just like brother Ben X. Ain't thinking about this clown. Ain't thinking about this old bag. Yeah. But if hey, if you like the uh, gay situation, that's true. But that video we made about the Muslims, see, you got to a lot of hits. That's what you wanted, but you see, it was in the negative. That's the. Problem. I don't care nothing about that. I made that video simply talking about what I always talk about, why God did not do with God. It has nothing to do. They want to watch it. I did not call them to that video. That's the way I talk all the time. And my simple, my only thing I want to do is let remind them, here's another situation. You got all these people killed. Where was your God? That's, that's what I talk about all the time. Where was your that's, God? That, that's true. I'm just saying, you know. I the same thing all the time. It just so you know, happened. When I said it, it was in relationship to this to this new uh, crap. So what? You got, you got a lot of hostility out of that. It's like people want yeah, to break so their what? neck out of that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've dealt with all them soy shit. I've dealt with all them idiots. <laughs> but, you know, I think that's the fun of them. My, from my point of view with the uh, Mississippi thing, like I always say, with the BAIO, you have to move there. You just keep. I agree. You have to move there if you want to be motivated. Now, let me, let me say this. And now this is addressed to Alquan. Me having associate social media, I'm sorry, as far as me, and I'm only speaking for me, is that my association with the motherland, you can't compare it to a different continent, to a state. Now, with Talik, 
He claimed that he was born in Mississippi. He was raised in Mississippi. So he's for, he's he's very familiar with that state. Okay. The question is, why did he leave that state? That's the question. I ain't never been to Africa, but I want to go there. I want to visit. I want to check it out. I want to get to connect with the people. That's my goal. Now that's my personal decision that I'm willing, I'm willing to do. I'm not, I would never tell somebody to go to Africa. I would never do that. I would never tell you. I would never tell Talik. I would never say to go to Africa. That's my personal thing that I want to do. Because Marcus Garvey said, he said, there's black people that's no good here in the States and they will be no good over there. So Marcus Garvey didn't tell black, he never said, you all black people should go to Africa. He's telling certain people who has the desire to go. So I want to clear that up to the morons that keep saying, well, if you believe you are Pan-African, how come you ain't go to Africa? Motherfucker, that has nothing, that's my desire. I would never tell anybody, Pan-African, that's who I am. I'm, I am Africa, motherfucker. I'm not, I would never, you know, I'm not telling nobody to, to go to Africa. If you believe you're not African, I'm not, why the fuck I want to tell you to go to Africa? I am Africa. Everything I do is African. So I don't need to go back. I don't need to go there, but I need to go there to get connected to the people. I'm, that's my personal decision. I would never tell somebody to go or promote to just go back to Africa for black people. I would never do that. That's, that's like saying these black homosexuals, Oh, they need to go to Africa. No, because I don't. I I don't want them to go there to to uh, you know to to bring a European poison to, to our people over there. Hell, fucking no. So that's just me. Can't say okay. I'm you don't have to move nowhere. Well, see, see, you can't say I'm going to build a utopia and then say you, you go, go there, but I'm you not going to move. America, America is in many places. They ain't move no damn where. They are influenced all over the. I don't have to move to Mississippi. No, actually, they did move there. They moved to Hawaii. Oh, Talik, you do have to move to Mississippi. You claim that you was born there and you was raised there. So you are, you are very familiar with that state. I'm not. I have no interest in Mississippi. I would never move to Mississippi. So you could count me out with that, bro. I can go there every other weekend or whatever. You don't have to move nowhere to get being influenced. You that's yeah, but if you don't move there, that means you're just you're thinking about you're you're gonna gonna here. Gonna You want to come here? You want to come here with your nonsense? <laughs> and bring all this stuff that don't even make any sense because you can't comprehend the mind. That's what your problem is. Now you see how you see how he gets defensive. You see, Alcorn was asking a lot of good questions, and you see how he gets mad. See how he gets angry. This is the reason why you can't debate this fool. Okay. There's no sense to even argue with him. No, I can't. You a free mind. You're thinking, you're thinking what? You're thinking low level. No, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, with, I'm thinking with structure. You don't have no vision. And you don't have no vision. You have no vision. You cannot see. The only thing you can see, what you want, what you want, when you want it. You cannot see. <laughs> see no, no. 50 years from now. Yeah, you but you, you, need, you need structure. You can't see. Well, yeah, you need to. <laughs> Stop. 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 That's what your problem is. No, I can't. You have a free mind. You're thinking, you're thinking, what? You're thinking low level. No, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, with, I'm thinking with structure. You don't have no vision. And you don't have no vision. Watch this. You have no vision. You cannot see. The only thing you can see. Where you, you want, want where you want, want where you want, want it. Want. You cannot see. <laughs> no, no. 50 wow. years from now. Yeah, you but you, you need structure. You can't see. Yeah, you need to, what are you talking about? You're going to get to say, come in here and be what you want to eat. You got to do things right. And what, what is right with you? Just, I'm telling you what's right. Hey, come on. I'm telling you. 
And if you listen, listen to the campaign carefully, uh, you will understand that. Well, see, funny. like you said before, if you if you get invited on my platform, people can speak to you directly and hear from your mouth. So I'm speaking to you directly. You tell me what it is all about right now. I just told you. You already have your mind made up. You already have your mind made up to think a certain way. Well, I just asked you to because tell you me. You want what you want when you want. <laughs> and here you are, one of those three people that talk about you're not religious, and you're just as religious as the rest of them. You're just as biased and hate filled and profane just like the rest of the stuff. No, actually, religion is what you're preaching, which is come on, come on, do what you want to do, be free. I never said that. That's what you. He, he did say that. He did. He did say that. You go back to his videos. He said that multiple times. See, that's the one thing about Tali. He's very senile. The guy, you don't, you don't, you don't even fucking remember what the fuck that he says. It's 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 unbelievable. It's unbelievable. You say it. I never said that. But that's what you're saying without saying it. The, the not, don't, so don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> I did not say that. See, that's what you did say. You did say. You did say. You did you did say, say I don't care if you're gay. I don't, I don't, I don't care about this. So, so what do you mean? That's that's what do you want to do? That's what it means. Because that's not what it's about, you idiot. It's not what it's about, but if they do, they're invited, that means they can do what they want. Why are you calling, are you calling the idiot? Wow. You see, you, you see how the name caller? Unbelievable. What do you do? Because you, you, you're an idiot, man. <laughs> I'm an idiot, but that's what you're saying. Look, this is, this is how it is. Hey, what's up, y'all? No, we're not, Yo, we're not going out. I'm getting ready to kick off my platform because <laughs> this guy, uh, I want to destroy this guy. I want to destroy this guy. He called him a bastard. And you know what's so funny about Tali? He claimed that he hate calling, he hate using that word bastard. And is, is you know, and he made a video hate saying that he don't like using the word bastard. He said it's not the kid's fault that came in his world being a bastard, so he don't like. And he just called Alcorn a bastard, unbelievable. And, and then he gonna say, "I donated to this bastard." And you hear him watch. She says, "I donated to his platform." He donated to Alcorn. Of God, he never seen. He never seen in his life. Alcorn never showed his face, but he donated to a God that he never seen. But then he'll tell you. Why you donate to Umar Johnson, who actually bought a school, who actually you see Umar Johnson cleaning out the school. But then he wants to make fun of uh, Umar Johnson playing his cousin with cocaine in his nose and all. This is what this dude do because he's angry. He don't like it when people put in work, but he want to sit there and make commentary videos. This and other black people, what other black people doing and because and, he know. He's not the type of dude that want to go out there and put in work. Now he, now you just seen this clown a minute that he don't even have the energy or the time to even promote his work, his own idea. Think about that. Man, stop riding that with the the dollars, man. They come to my platform all the time. I asked them. Shit, where else is coming to your platform? He wants to come to my platform and run it down. Mark. I don't like that. Thinking you don't like that shit. <laughs> I don't like that. Put your face in that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Al Cross there. You thinking you Bruce Lee? Yep. Yep. He, I told you he got the Bruce Lee outfit on, but he, but he, he went, he went to this brother, uh, brother Jabari, saying that he's an African wannabe, a African, a fake, a fake pharaoh wannabe. But then you, then he's, he actually, he got the Chinese outfit, trying to be something that he's not. Chinese, the Chinese don't even wouldn't even look at him. Was spitting his food. I mean, come on. And then he's gonna say Alcorn with your faceless ass. Well, you donated to a faceless person. So who's the who's the idiot? You do he donated Alcorn fifty bucks for 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 promotional reasons because he wanted to be promoted. This is what he does. He paid people to to get promoted. I'll be faceless. I'm picking you off. Get off. Bye. Bye. Fuck. Get off. I don't like that. Drive ass nigga. Get off. You want me? Bring me to your platform. Don't come here. Yeah, light it for your platform. That's why nobody's down with you. Go out. Go out. You don't tell me that. I donated. I gave you this man. You didn't donate, man. You gave everybody. Promotional. He's right. 
He's right. He said, he said, you, 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 um, oh shoot. He said, yeah, you, <laughs> he said, you, you, uh, you pay people for promotional reasons. Oh shit, let me see. Don't run your mouth. It's not gonna happen. Oh, oh. That's why nobody is down. What you roll out? Roll out. <laughs> you don't come back. I donated. I gave you this man. You didn't donate, man. You gave everybody money for promotional reasons. I want the emails on YouTube. Any minute, don't. Whatever, I'm gonna kick you off. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to hear that now. I don't want no on your platform. I sit there and hear anything that you want on your platform. No, 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 no. You're, you're, you're a nut. You're not nut. You're not coming on mine. Well then, get off mine. Off. Oh. All, right, all right, Bruce Lee. Whatever, sir. Move out. Where's this at? I don't like that. I went to this dude and asked him, can I come to your uh can I come to your platform and talk to your audience about Operation Exodus Mississippi? <laughs> oh, no, I can't. No. Yeah, I want to end that right there. I want to end this video. But I just wanted to say, yo, this guy looks like a look, look. He got the Chinese outfit with the RBG colors, Malcolm X pen. He got the Hawaiian 5 sunglasses. <laughs> And I want to just say Alcorn was on point on everything that he said. Everything that Alcorn has said was facts. So I give him a lot of credit. I give him a lot of credit. Yes, Alcorn was right. He give he he was giving people money. So to 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 he was paying for people to promote him. This is what he does. So 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 Alcorn was right about that. But I want to say this before I go that. Talik, if you ever watch this video, if you're watching this video, let me say this. You, you know, when you pass away, your videos would die with you. When you when you pass away, when you die, your videos would die with you. Ain't nobody gonna share this junk. Everything that you said was straight venom. I don't hear you talk about white people that way. And matter of fact, you had a white person that you considered a friend. This is the same white dude that he, he claimed that black people should not get any reparation. And guess what? He wasn't from America. He, he, was, from, he was from Europe. Okay? He was from Great Britain. And he said that black people should not get anything. And you took up for that white dude. When him battling with Craig, you didn't take up for Craig. You took up for that white dude. So I know what your loyalty lies. This is the reason why you're a piece of shit. You're garbage. So ain't nobody listening to you. Your videos is 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 comical. You're a joke, and you would die a joke. You already up in age. So you you you're 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 just you're just wasting people's time and money. So all your videos, your thousands of videos, it's gonna die with you, bro. You haven't accomplished nothing. You have no education. You haven't built nothing. You haven't you, you you haven't done nothing with your life. You are disgrace. You are elder, but you're a disgrace. You you just you're something that you know. My great granddad doesn't have more have done more than you that you ever accomplished in your life. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I I, I just want to throw that out there. And anybody that followed this dude is a clown and you got to be a just as crazy just like this crazy nutcase came straight from the crazy house all right so i just want to throw that in there all right to my rbg nation thanks for watching and um we out of here five thousand peace